is it even is even more important or even you, know, you have to put a little greater emphasis on trying to get that in your plan in general? Um I wouldn't say a greater emphasis than, than we have all year because we had to we had to get a pass rush on AJ McCarron against that big old line. But um, I would say that it's it's always at the top of our priority list. You know, especially on third down, you have to get off the field. That's the money down. So um, as long as we play good defense, get off the field on third down, I think we'll be good against these guys. If you guys can win, you'll probably be in the conversation among the best A&M teams ever. Would that statement mean something to you? Uh, that would mean a lot to me, especially as a senior and, um, you know, growing up with these guys and going through all these growing pains that we had over the past few years. Um, it, it would mean a lot for, for us to be, you know, mentioned in that same category. So, um, you know, that's, that's really important to me to get this 11th win and, and come out on top. Coach has talked about before how <clears throat> you were pretty upset in the locker room after the Florida game. Could you envision an 11th win after that game, <laughs> the, the opening day loss? Um, well, I think I could because, you know, the reason I was upset is because I um, I realized all the potential we had in two a day. So, you know, I knew that we were we were better than most teams in the country, you know, frankly. So I knew that, you know, it, it, it upset me that we didn't live up to our potential that game. You know, we didn't play as good as we could have played. But, you know, um, looking back at it, we were, we were still a young team. We had a little quarter, we had a quarterback who didn't really have the entire offense in his repertoire yet. So, um, I'm, I'm glad that we. I'm glad it ended up the way it ended up. It's kind of odd to play a bowl opponent that you've seen your whole career. Usually that doesn't happen. But when you think about OU, do you do you see a little red and get a little rage, or is it just the fact that you're playing a worthy opponent that gets you excited? Um, it gets me excited. You know, I think I think honestly think that we have an advantage. You know, over teams just playing random bowl teams because you know we've seen these guys. Like I said, you know, I've I've been on the field and played against these guys <clears throat> for three years straight. You know, so it's good that, that I kind of have a feel for what kind of players they are. You know, if this guy's going to go hard every play or, if, you know, what's going on out there. So I think it's, it's good for us. It's, it's, it's an advantage for us that we played them before. It's an advantage for them too, though, so <laughs> I guess it balances out. Well, obviously, since you were upset after Florida, you have an eye for potential. Mm -hmm. So uh, have you seen anything uh, from the guys who are going to be replacing yourself and DeMontre that would uh, have you seen any potential there that would lead you to believe that you guys are going to leave <coughs> You know, we have some young guys that can play. Um, you know, it's kind of it's, it's a good thing when it gets to the point where you have good players on the bench, but they can't play because there's better guys in front of them. So, um, you know, that's what that's what all the good teams in college football have. They have guys sitting on the bench that you know could be starters everywhere else. And I think that we're we're beginning to get that. You know, we have a guy in Donnie Bags. That's, um, you know, he hadn't started all year, but. I think he started at a lot of places around the country, and you know I really think he's going to step up next year. You know he's he's definitely started to step up in this bowl practice and, and become a you know smarter linebacker, smarter player. So you know I think it's, it's all about development and growth, and you know I think these guys are just you know they'll end up being good. And and a guy that I think is going to step up on the D line is um is Julian Obioa. You know he started for us all year. Um, he just hadn't got as much attention as Demontre has because you know you know that guy's a beast over there. But um, you know I think that. I think we're leaving the program in good hands, and I also think we have a great recruiting class coming in, and, and those guys are going to be able to step up and play for us. And you made that, DeMontre had a decision to make yesterday. He did the opposite of what you did. You chose to come back, and I'm guessing, you know, when you choose to return to a school for one more year, that need, year needs to go really well for you and the team. It's almost coming to an end now. I'm guessing that you would be pretty pleased with how it went, but as you look back at all of it, I mean, do you like how it all went and was the decision definitely the right one? Yeah, you know, I'm pleased. I came back to I came back to college because I, I love to be a part of this team. I love being around these guys. Um, you know, I love this great university I go to. So, um, you know, the reason, my reasons for coming back to college weren't, you know, to raise my draft stock or anything. It was just because, you know, I like college. I like I like being in college, I like the you know college life. So, um, <clears throat> I think it was fun, and you know, it, it was definitely a good thing for our team, and you know, we had a lot of success. So, it's, it's been a good ride. When did you know Montre was going to go? Um, <laughs> we know we know secrets a little bit earlier than y'all do. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I found out a little while ago.